Okay, for task one, I went into model tools and I added in the normals. And for skybox and terrain, I calculated, or skybox I added the normals, terrain I calculated. And here are all the objects. There's the pyramid, cube, the sphere, the plane, uh, and the terrain. Now for the skybox, I'm not sure what that's supposed to look like when it's lit. Uh, I'm guessing that's part of the directional lighting. And I see the spotlight is, is working on it too. Um, let me try to get to the other walls. Um, for, ah, let's write the pen. There we go. Um, yeah. Okay. Next task is two. Uh, two was to create a shader class that shows a texture. So I made shader color light texture. Uh, I guess it should have been called shader light texture. I'll fix that later. Uh, so to do this, I added in texture into the input and output. And then for the shaders, I think the only thing I did differently, everything was the same as shader color light, except I know I did something. Oh yeah, I added texture coordinates into the input layout. And then, oh, I added the set texture and resource sampler to the shader. Um, and then in DX app, everything was similar to the P shader color light over here to the this demo except for setting the textures okay so I'm gonna play and here is right here is the cube when the spotlight comes around it lights up and there's the terrain Getting lit up. Okay. Task three. Um, oh, was the multiple lights. So when I first read this, I thought of the the question from a while back where we had to render like five of the same model or something. So I tried to use the same approach here and what happened was the lights overrode each other. Um, so that didn't work. And then what I ended up doing was sometimes I, well a lot of times I, I missed little details in the question or big details in the question that are very important. Anyways, this question said to create shaders and associated shader classes. So I did that after I read it a few times and saw that part. Um, so for the, the multi-light shader, I just added in another light. So I added in another point light and then everything that had point light, I duplicated it so that the second point light could be set. And then we're going to compute two point lights. And then, so over here in the shader class, I did the same thing, added in the point light so that when we declare the buffer, it's the correct size. Um, and then, yeah, so I just gave the point light everything. It's own data so that it wouldn't get overwritten like it did 
and I try to do it the lazy way. <laughs> and then uh, for here, um, in DX app, I set different positions so we can see two point lights. Oh, this is the wrong one. Ha, huh, sorry. This is for the work. Uh, okay, so this is similar code. Uh, I just used this project uh, to start off with for the work. Okay, back to point lights. Okay, so we have two point lights. And uh, this way, this, this, uh, t the way I did it, it's probably, it would work if we only needed a few lights in the scene, like the numbers that I can count on my fingers. Um, if we had to put a hundred lights in the scene, probably need to do something more dynamic. But for now, this works. Okay, now for the further work. Uh, I tried to do what the book said, but I wasn't sure if I did it right. I uh, calculated KD and then I uh, multiplied it by the diffuse and same with KS. Now the book's photos in black and white, so I wasn't sure what this two inch shading should look like. Um, I went and googled some images and I saw uh, various things uh, and my C didn't look like any of these, but um, I'm, the idea I'm getting is look, a few colors. Yeah. Okay, so so there's my attempt at the tune shading, and it didn't come up earlier. Okay, so yeah, so we have a few colors. Um, I kind of think I see the tune shading when the light hits the pyramid order over here. Uh, I see a brighter, it gets brighter in the edge. There's like a part where it's like so bright where the edge disappears. And that's where I kind of see the tune shading. So I think it's working. Uh, yeah, we'll see. And that's all for this week. Thanks.